We missed the exit Formula One uh, Portuguese show. Uh, we've both watched the race. We're not going to spoil anything, uh, but definitely recommend to go watch it if you haven't already. Uh, so, again, this is supposed to be pre-Portuguese race, so let's go over uh, Emola. Emola, um, what would you think Something of the race? Like that. Uh, it, was, uh, it was interesting. Definitely interesting. I like uh, Max Verstappen posting up a first place. It kind of takes a little bit of a hit into Mercedes, you know, shows Lewis Hamilton, you know, uh, you know, you, you're not the only one that can win these races. So that's pretty cool. Um, it was nice seeing the Ferraris up there. Um, you know, a lot better than seeing them in, you know, 14th, you know, like last year. So that was pretty cool. And then, uh, my other favorite part was Norris defending Hamilton for, I don't know, was it was like four or five laps in a row. Just kept posting, posting the move. So that was pretty cool. Liked watching a lot of that. Yeah, big defense by Norris. He did a, he did, definitely did a good job. Uh, yeah, awesome job. Yeah, I mean, there, more or less like a track where there's like that one passing zone basically, and it, he was just able to get just far enough where Hamilton couldn't pass him. It, it was just perfect play by him for for sure for a few laps. You could definitely see that uh, McLaren's ready to kind of compete again. You know, they're not going to be going for number one. But, you know, if if Mercedes or Red Bull mess up, you know, they're not going to get second place in the Constructors' Championships this year. No, they'll, I think they're going to be solid in third. Um, you know, they're definitely going to have some competition with uh, Ferrari coming up. And, you know, that was which was a surprise. You know, they're doing a lot better this year, which is cool. Um, Alpha Tori was supposed to make a like a decent plunge towards them. At least I thought, you know, and. They're not doing too hot right now. And then, of course, Aston Martin, you know, was, uh, what was it? It's not, uh, whatever. Either way, new team Aston Martin coming off a hot season last year, and they just can't, for some reason, they're just not there yet. It's it's a weird, weird year. Yeah, I guess we'll go over it real quick. Uh, obviously, Verstappen, number one, Hamilton, two, uh, Norris, three, Leclerc, four, Sainz, five, Ricardo, six, Gasly, seven, Stroll, eight. Akon, 9, and Alonso, 10. Uh, so Alpine, also showing up twice here in the um, championship. After that first race, uh, I didn't think they were going to have a, a good car at all this year, but I definitely think they definitely turned that around this year as well, or this race as well. Yeah, and I mean, Okan was there last year. I mean, he's just making bigger strides, and it's great that he brought in uh, like a real legend, you know, Fernando Alonso, a guy who understands racing really well. So it's pretty sweet. And I mean, we saw Renault, which is now Alpine last year, you know, they made a big push in the, you know, back half of the season. You know, we saw Ricardo finishing, you know, almost top five, maybe top eight usually consistently. So that was, they, they had a decent car. It's just going to take a little bit to get used to the, the new one that they have right now. Yeah. And like I've been saying the past two shows, um, number one and number two, Red Bull Mercedes, obviously you're going to have a good, good battle there. But, uh, you know, that what I'm calling the B tier, or a lot of people call the B tier, McLaren, Ferrari, Alfa Tori, Aston Martin, Alpine. Th that's going to be a good race, uh, just them all fighting. And it's definitely going to keep the top two on their toes, make them make them fight. Uh, so right here we have the driver standings after the first two races. Uh, Hamilton in first in the Mercedes, uh, 44 points. Uh, picked up that extra point for the fastest lap in Imola. Yep. Verstappen, number two, um, 43 points. Norris in third, um, in the McLaren at 27 points. Claire in the Ferrari, 20 points. Uh, Botas um, in the other Mercedes down in fifth, 16 points. And then uh, Ferrari, um, Carlos Sainz, uh, number six with 14 points. So uh, it's really cool seeing you know Ferrari uh, top six, two of the, the top six. Um, you know Perez has hasn't been that great these past two races. He's in eighth right now, um, but you know, Verstappen and Hamilton going back and forth all year is going to be great. You know, McLaren and Ferrari are have a really good chance of being a top three driver this year. What do you think? Ferrari being a top three finisher? Uh, a, a top three uh, Ferrari driver being a top three. You know. Oh, um, absolutely. Do you think beat out Bo Botas. Uh, I think they could, it definitely. I could see a podium finish for Ferrari for sure. I mean, it, the. One thing about racing is you never know exactly how it's going to pan out. Someone could just get off. You can see, you know, safety cars come in. So, I mean, getting a top, a podium in a Ferrari this year is going to be 
questionable, but I definitely I, I feel like it's going to happen. If it's not like Carlos Sainz had a few races last year where just circumstances changed and he got a podium finish. Um, Leclerc is an amazing driver, very young. I He's definitely poised for he's been on the podium a couple of times for sure. Um, so I, I could see a top three, at least a, a podium finish for Ferrari, at least I want to say it twice this year. I'm going to say at least two. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Um, and I'd like to see them get it, you know, taking advantage of mistakes of the big guys and uh, just see what happens. So the Constructors' Championship so far this year, Mercedes number one with 60 points, uh, Red Bull two with 53, McLaren third with 41, Ferrari fourth uh, with 34, number five, Alfa Tori uh, with eight points, six, Aston Martin with five points, seven, Alpine with three points, and then eight, nine, ten, Alfa Romero, Williams, Haas, they, they all have zero points this year. Uh, any surprises with the top with the top constructors so far? Um, I don't. There's nothing that's surprising to me. Um, I guess Ferrari would be a surprise, but you know they're always teams that are always pushing the limits. So, you know, for coming back from last year, that's that's pretty cool. Alpha Tori and Aston Martin are the two that are questionable. To be. I thought Alpha Tori would be a little bit more competitive this year, especially pushing for that four spot. They they did quite a bit last year. You know, everything was very similar this year with a new uh, rookie driver. Um, so that could be the reason why. But uh, then Ashton Martin, I mean, Stroll Stroll's a decent driver. I mean, he's a top 10 finisher. Um, and then, of course, you got a four-time champion with you, Sebastian Vettel. So I, I like to see more out of those two teams out of, you know, the coming races going forward. Yeah, and uh, obviously we have um, today's race to go on, but we're not going to use any of that information during this podcast, no, I wasn't going to say anything. Um, you know, McLaren, Ferrari, AlphaTauri, they, they got young racers. And I think um, it, it seems like something's off with that team a little bit. And I, I think it sh- uh, has a lot to do with inexperience with the younger guys. Aston Martin, I think Vettel, once he gets settled into that new car, um, I think he'll be able to turn around. Uh, Stroll is a good racer, but he's seemed off since he had COVID um, going back to last year. Um, Alpine, um, obviously Alonso. Um, going to get some points uh, throughout the year in Akan too. Uh, but Alfa Romero, Williams, and Haas, all with zero points. Do you think any of those teams are going to get any points this year? And which one of those three do you think is going to be the top one of that, what I'm calling the C tier? I think uh, I think both Alfa Romero and Williams will get at least a point this year. Haas, I don't see being anywhere near top 10. I, I had strange luck maybe, but I mean, you got to lose probably half the field in order for them to be up there anyway. So, but Alpha Romero, I could see getting the first point. Williams, I can see like sneaking a point in off of mistakes. But Alpha Romero with Giovinazzi and um, Kimi Raikkonen, I mean, they're, they look poised for at least a few points. Yeah, you never count Raikkonen out from getting a couple points. Same with Giovinazzi. Um, I'd like to see Williams get a few points this year. I, I think they got a good young team. Uh, I think they've improved their car from last year, and I, I like to see them at least get a, you know, close to top ten. Um, they've been qualifying pretty well this year, so it'll be interesting yeah. to see. Yeah, George Russell's been doing awesome. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and it's also a new team in a way. I mean, new owners. Yeah. Um, so they're probably changing up everything. They changed the car body a little bit. So I mean, we'll see if the comes out pretty positive for him. But I mean, George Russell is a great driver. Latifi needs a little bit of work, but I mean, they, they could definitely get a point or two. Yeah, I agree. And um, I mean, new owners, obviously looking at this year, but, you know, they have to be focusing a lot on next year, new cars and new owners definitely want to. I think they're going to wait till next year to really try to make their mark on this. Oh, for sure. I mean, you're investing all this money. Might as well put it towards the car that's going to be around for the next few years. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, we'll go on to Portuguese um, qualifying. Uh, I just have the Q3 results up here. Um but uh, Botas, number one qualifying, being out Lewis Hamilton by seven uh, thousandths. thousandths of a second. Uh, Verstappen, uh, third was Verstappen, four Perez, five Sainz, six Akan, seven Norris, eight Leclerc, nine Gasly, and ten uh, Vettel. Um, so uh, Botas getting the podium, taking uh, stopping Hamilton from getting his 100th podium. What do you think about that? 
Uh, it's nice. Uh, you know, Botas is a great driver. I don't know. For some reason, there's a couple races where you're like, come on, man. Um, and then, of course, last race, he had that contact with uh, George Russell. So that was weird. Yeah, you can discuss that. Yeah, he, he had an off race, uh, too. I mean, talk, going back to last race, um, you know, he's in eighth place getting passed by Williams. You know, it just seems yeah. like something's wrong to me. Uh, and I've been saying that a lot all year. But, um, yeah, I agree. Uh, Botas getting a, um, podi- uh, you know, P1, a pole position for yeah, her. Pole position. I think that's a big boost for him. I, I think that's good for him in in the long run. Yeah, he's going to need it. And, you know, Mercedes is going to need his help if they want to stop Red Bull. I mean, Sergio Perez definitely needs to do a little bit more work if they want to start competing with Mercedes. Yep. Uh, but Botas, I mean, the first couple of races have just been off. So it's nice to see him in the front again. Um, and I, I like any time that someone beats Lewis Hamilton because, you know, yeah, I mean, it's, Botas, it's nice to see someone different. Botas has been off and Perez has been off, so... Um, it's good, uh, but it's great to see, you know, Ferrari continuing qualifying pretty well. You know, they made it to Q3, top 10, um, which was really nice. And then uh, Alpine, Alpine, you know, number six, that, that's pretty good for them. Um, Ocon put on a sick, sick lap. That was a that was one heck of a lap that he put in. Um, yeah, and to just beat out Norris, who I thought, I mean, he could have been a little bit higher, but just, you know, all of a sudden it's like, boom, you're you're in the top 10. Yeah, and before yeah, we get too six. far, you know, uh, Perez it, it t- ended up qualifying fourth, but he did get the fastest lap. He he went he uh, exceeded, exceeded he went wide limits, yeah. But um, you know, I think his lap was really good, and he showed he had the speed, um, which is great going into race day. He may not have gotten P1, but he, he's running race. He was running great, car was running great, and I think he's getting the hang of that Red Bull. Oh, oh, absolutely. He's got to feel completely different from the last year's car that he was in. So, you know, that racing point was more like the Mercedes, right? They call it the pink Mercedes. Pink Mercedes. And that, yeah, and then the Red Bull's just, it's a different car. A little yeah. bit more powerful for sure. Different power unit. Different engine. And yeah, he's got to get used to the whole new team and everything. Yeah, I uh, completely agree. But it, it's great to see him kind of coming around. Him and Botas seem to be figuring out what was wrong. And then, um, you know, 10, Vettel. Uh, in that new Aston Martin, he looked really good during qualifying, I think. Uh, they said this is his first Q3 he's made in almost a year. Um, so that was really good to see him get to Q3. Yeah, it, it's like a long time coming, you know. Sebastian Vettel is usually, you know, pushing for that pole position. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, wow, I can't believe he made Q3. It's like, what? You know, Sebastian Vettel, you know, great driver. It's nice to see him finally get into Q3, even if it is, you know, P10. I'd, I'd like to see him up in Q3. Yeah, well, that SMR is not what it was last year. Obviously, competing against everyone else, everyone else made improvements, and smr has been complaining about some of the rule changes. But it's good to see Vettel just pushing that car. Yeah, absolutely. He's just he's doing what a driver should do and just do what he can. Yeah, and I guess we got to also address the, you know, the elephant in the room. Um, McLaren, you know, on the radio telling Norris to get in Verstappen's way. Uh, what do you think of that during Q3? I'm uh, not gonna lie, I didn't hear that radio call, but I mean that's that's a little, that's not cool. No. Uh, Norris I, is my driver, but that, I, that's not cool. I, I like Norris. Obviously, that wasn't a Norris. That was McLaren saying. Yeah, it was a McLaren thing. Yeah. Um, but you know, during a race, uh, I know McLaren and Mercedes, you know, kind of have their thing, you know, going hand in hand. But you know, when we're talking qualifying, to me, qualifying needs to be, um. You know, everyone competes the same. You know, there's nothing. You don't do anything dirty in qualifying. Like to me, that's the one place. You know, you really don't do anything dirty. No, no, you gotta stay out of the other people's way. Let them do their hot laps, and you know, everyone's just gotta, yeah, you gotta play along. So, uh, yeah, that, that made me really mad. Um, you know, a team obviously trying to help another team. That's not their team. Um, no. That that I I didn't like at all. Um, that that. Yeah, you know, I was kind of rooting for McLaren to make a comeback this year, and you know, really push everything, and keep these guys on their toes. But that that really put me back a lot. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm still rooting for McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I I mean, yeah, that's a you know, that's a really you know douchebag move, you know, or whatever. It's it's just not. It's not a good move by them. But I'm still gonna root for them because you know. Yeah. Why not? No, Norris is a great driver. I loved after the last race, um, you know, where he said he got driver of the day, which 
definitely deserved. Um, well deserved. Well, well deserved. Um, well deserved. And uh, you know, he said, "I didn't know I had any fans." And uh, he's a great driver, young. And I, I think, you know, you have Norris, you have Leclerc, you have Verstappen. Uh, they're all around the same age. Um, yeah. And a couple other guys, and they're all on good teams. And it's gonna be great to just watch these guys battle for the next ten plus years. Oh yeah. Uh, Formula One's definitely coming up um, with a lot, lot better racing. I feel like you know now, you know last year you watched, you watched that four, five, six spots. You know that's like what you were w- watching the race basically for because you had Lewis Hamilton out 20 seconds in front of Botas. Recep is trying to do what he can, but sometimes he DNF'd and you know like and it was just all over the place. It was just nice to see that battle. Um and yeah, you know Norris putting up a third place, you know, I think he's poised for a little bit more than uh, people were probably expecting at the time. Yeah, this this year, um, more than pretty much the past few years is great, and then it really shows how great things are going to be going be going forward. And I saw a crazy stat. It was like uh, the first time Lewis Hamilton got in a car to race Formula One what was his name Yuki Tsunoda. Yes. Yeah, so- uh, I think he was like six months old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like that tells you like the depth of how like the ages right now are like you see you have much older people you got a middle crowd and then you you have a lot of these younger guys coming up. It's pretty sweet. Young guys and they they look hungry, they look energetic and they look like they're ready to go. Um, you know teams are the new cars. It'll be really interesting to see how how much these new cars compete against each other. Yeah, it's exciting to see. I want to. I'm hoping that all these changes does provide a little bit, you know, closer racing. You know, that's what they're trying to do. Try and make it a little more competitive across the board. You know, when when you're on track. So, you know, I would like to see if it, you know, all this pans out the way it should be. But for now, I'm going to enjoy the the cars we have now because those are pretty sweet. 100% agree. Um, so that's been our pre-Portuguese race. Um, obviously the race is already over. Um, hopefully you go and watch it and enjoy it. And we'll be back here again uh, for the next race. We got Spain next. Yeah, we're going to Barcelona. So uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'm going to try to do a pre-race again, or at least before I watch it. And uh, hopefully Evan will be able to join, join me again. Uh, for sure. Any closing comments, Evan? Uh, enjoy the race. It's a good one. It is a good one. All right. Thanks Thank for you. watching and have a great night.